It is August 8th, 2011 on this Monday edition. This is a InfoWars special report and viewers at PrisonPlanet.tv should note that starting Thursday, September 1st, and just about two and a half weeks from now, we're going to have uh, a nightly news program for 30 minutes at 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. You can uh, follow uh, showtimes and listings for the information at PrisonPlanet.tv and InfoWars.com. But we'll also be doing these special reports. Uh, in some cases, there'll be 10 minutes, an hour, or even two hours like we did uh, a few weeks ago with Mike Adams, the Health Ranger, and of course, uh, Gerald Salente uh, just last week, Sheriff Mack and others. Now, getting straight into the news, this was the biggest drop in the Dow since the credit crisis of the fall of 2008. And we saw a 600 uh, point drop today on supposed uh, concerns over Standard and Poor's lowering the debt credit rating of the United States of America from AAA to AA plus. Also, uh, the major Chinese government ratings agency has now uh, dropped their rating for the second time in the last year and a half. Uh, the truth is this country has been completely bankrupted by design by the big six offshore megabanks, and we are being financially conquered through this fraud. Uh, continuing with looking at what happened uh, with the stock market today, uh, it caused gold on concerns of massive uh, inflation and dollar devaluation to surge to another all-time high. In fact, it was up over $50 today than its last close to $1,718.30. Uh, it saw highs above $1,720 earlier in the day, and now J.P. Morgan, which is at the very top of the bankster cartel food chain, has come out with some sensational news. They'd already uh, predicted that by the end of 2011, you would see above $1,800 an ounce gold. Uh, but now J.P. Morgan's uh, top analysts are reporting that they believe gold could easily top 2000 $500 an ounce by the end of 2011. And remember, that's not because gold or silver are really going up in price or not that oil's even going up in price or, or rice for that matter. It is inflation. And when they announce that they're going to continue to devalue the dollar, continue rampant spending, uh, and continue bailing out mega banks, that signals to the world that the dollar's days uh, are numbered. And that's exactly what many of the big central banks want uh, is to basically expand their world government on U.S. dollars and then leave the United States holding the bag. Then the mega banks will then offer the next level of their Ponzi scheme, a new global currency. And the communist Chinese are calling for that and basically lecturing the United States. Putin is calling the United States parasites when the truth is the multinational mega banks are the parasites, the same ones feeding on Europe, the same group that over a decade ago uh, completely looted Russia. And so Russia is not parasitical. The Europeans are not parasitical. The people in Argentina raped by the global banks are not parasitical. The American people are not parasitical. Uh, the oligarchs, the financial finance oligarchs that run our society uh, are the real parasites. And that's the rest of the story on that front. But incredible news, uh, because the kingpins wouldn't be saying this unless they intended for that to actually uh, be the case. Uh, in some of the other financial news dealing uh, with the AAA rating being lost, uh, the Communist Chinese came out and said dollar to be discarded by world. And again, the Chinese are teamed up with George Soros and others trying to set up their new private bank of the world where every man, woman, and child will pay carbon taxes directly to the Communist Chinese and George Soros, Al Gore, and others for the right to even breathe. A human exhaling of carbon dioxide is seen as a crime. Uh, continuing, uh, debt insurers brace for impact of U.S. downgrade. Reuters, AP, and others reported. And that's the big issue. Uh, every state in the United States, all 50, all of the thousands of counties, cities, and towns are linked directly 
directly to the credit and faith of the United States government. And so now because of that downgrade, they're moving uh, to uh, take away the, the AAA rating of many cities, towns, and states. And then that means that the people uh, and the taxpayers will pay even greater interest rates uh, to the very banking cartel that created the global crisis with the 1.5 quadrillion that they created. And continuing, Moody's, though, has backed the U.S.'s AAA rating uh, as S&P cuts the credit rating for uh, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and others. So not a good sign for the U.S. Uh, housing market. Now, shifting gears into the political fallout uh, from this, if you go to the Drudge Report, you will notice that uh, it has had continual coverage up on the site today uh, following the uh, record plunge in the last three years. And if you go down to the right-hand corner, um, the news giant linked to our report, uh, that is a breakdown of a series of polls conducted by the prestigious polling agency Rasmussen. Pollster, Americans are pre-revolutionary. And it goes through the fact that the U.S. Congress has the lowest approval rating in its history and that just 17% of Americans believe that the U.S. government has the consent of the governed at an all-time low, especially with the new super Congress now controlling the House and Senate, 12 members with Obama as the 13th. Ron Paul and others saying this is clearly unconstitutional. And here you have uh, one of the top polling agencies in the country uh, and uh, their pollster, Pat Cadell, uh, saying that uh, this indicates that Americans are now pre-revolutionary. And he described the outcome of the poll as unprecedented. He said there is a sea of anger is churning as Americans want to take their country back. And that's why we're now seeing the rebranding from Homeland Security and TSA and the, and the face scanning cameras and the license plate reading cameras being for the quote, Muslim threat, uh, the, the military industrial complex owned by the same mega banks that have now conquered us through financial fraud are basically uh, almost complete in their takeover of the Middle East and Central Asia and wreaking havoc there. So now they're moving away from the al Qaeda boogeyman over to uh, the American people. And who do they say they are? Returning veterans, gun owners, libertarians, white males, uh, but anyone else who is into freedom and liberty. And we've seen the last two weeks the full, roll out, the full rollout of this with scores of top Democrats, including the vice president, saying the Tea Party are terrorists. And they're continuing along that line with uh, former presidential candidate, Democratic Senator John Kerry, testifying today that the Tea Party caused the downgrade. The headline is Tea Party Downgrade. Uh, Associated Press, CBS News, and others uh, are reporting White House advisor blames Tea Party for downgrade. If you slip on a banana peel, uh, it is the fault uh, of the uh, Tea Party. Here's another one. Downgrade puts pressure on debt. Super committee. Um, now, it is the Tea Party that no doubt, and, and it's a diverse group, they're not perfect, the Republicans have tried to take it over, but for those that don't know, it was founded by Ron Paul supporters here in Austin, Texas, uh, and also spontaneously in Boston, Massachusetts in 2007. And it was a libertarian constitutional view of fiscal conservatism, but also anti-preemptive imperial style aggressive war. That group by 2010 had been pretty much taken over by Republicans, mainline Republicans, but still the core of the Tea Party is anti-war, anti-Federal Reserve, pro-U.S. sovereignty, everything uh, that the globalists are diametrically opposed to. And so that's why they're telling you the Tea Party's gonna bomb police, the Tea Party caused the downgrade, uh, the Tea Party, if it, if it rains a little too much, they did it. 
It's not the fault of Alan Greenspan who got rid of the Glass-Steagall Act and allowed the six big mega banks to create over 1,500 trillion in fraudulent Ponzi scheme uh, instruments that they then induced under Bush and now Obama, our government to sign on to and pledge the people's credit and faith to. No, it's not the fault of the banksters. It's not the fault of the trillion dollar wars. Uh, it's not the fault of all of the incredible corruption or dollar devaluation that's led us to this point. It's now the fault of anyone that calls out the private Federal Reserve as an alien, outside, anti-American institution. Remember three years ago when uh, Alan Greenspan, former Fed chairman, got on Lair News Hour and said, I am above the law, the Federal Reserve is above the law, no one can regulate us, no one can challenge us. These are the people that are truly guilty, not the core of the Tea Party that actually is aware of the global government and how we're being conquered through financial fraud. Now, in closing, I want to show you a new clip, this time of the prostitutes on NBC's Meet the Press. It's a short clip, and it's in Kurt Nemo's InfoWars.com article, Greenspan, Counterfeit Fiat Dollars to Avoid Default. Now, just like we saw on Meet the Press the week before last, uh, them re-airing the clip of Geithner a few months ago, Treasury Secretary saying there will not be a AAA rating reduction. It will not happen. It's impossible. We've, we've seen that clip. I played it yesterday on the radio. Well, now we have this new clip of Greenspan last night or yesterday morning on Sunday on Meet the Press saying that it's impossible for the United States to default because they'll just print more money. Now, that is taking the audience of NBC's Meet the Press as complete morons, and I don't think they are complete morons, as evidenced by the, these polls that the American people now buy nothing that these politicians and banksters say. But saying that they'll hyperinflate and print dollars is what Mexico did. That's why pesos aren't worth that much. That's what Nigeria and Zimbabwe and Germany did in the Weimar Republic after World War I into the 20s and 30s with the Depression. So he's saying, we'll never default. It's impossible because we'll just print money. Well, that's another form of default. And that's the real reason this country's losing its credit rating. In fact, that's what S&P said. That's what J.P. Morgan says in their report that's in CNBC today. In fact, let me read that to you before we get to Greenspan. They also see a lot of upside for raw sugar prices, possibly doubling or more in a spike as a result of weakness in the U.S. dollar and rising inflation. That's the two top analysts at J.P. Morgan. And again, that's the tip of the pyramid. That's the very top. That's the New World Order talking. And of course, that's the third paragraph in this article. Gold may hit $2,500 in 2011, J.P. Morgan. Because of why? Why do they say? Inflation. Okay, now, it's inflation that's driving up prices and killing people on fixed incomes and destroying business. But Greenspan says, don't worry, and he says it arrogantly with a straight face. You see the host of the show and the guest literally looking on like he uh, you know, has, has just uh, murdered a child or something because it's so asinine. It's like Geithner two years ago when he went to China and spoke before their uh, economics professors and their graduate students and said, we're not devaluing the dollar. And they all laughed at him because they had basic economic sense. But it's Greenspan laughing at you in this clip when he says, we won't default. All right. There, it's so incredible. I don't even know how else to describe it. It is pure arrogance and fraud and deception in your face. He's telling you we're going to default through hyperinflation. Let's go to that clip. Are U.S. Treasury bonds still safe to invest in? Very much so. I think there's a... This is not an issue of credit rating. The United States can pay any debt it has because we can always print money to do that. So there is zero probability of default. Uh, sure, they can pay off debts by uh, further hyperinflating the currency. Sure. I mean, a tube of toothpaste, I remember five years ago, it cost maybe a dollar, two dollars. I was at the store the other day, they were seven ninety five, dollars and higher. I mean, everybody knows prices are exploding. 
And th for people on Social Security and uh, low-wage earners and people, this is going to be devastating. We've already seen in the last decade a 40% drop in the value of the dollar, according to the Congressional Budget Office. Now they're talking about taking what value it's got and completely devaluing it. We're not just talking about run-of-the-mill hyperinflation. We're talking about serious inflation with a statement like that. Now, we will continue to cover all of these latest developments tomorrow on my syndicated radio broadcast that we also simulcast here on the web at prisonplanet.tv. Uh, in closing, I want to hit on some other news that we've not yet covered that is of uh, great import as well. Former First Lady Jackie Fingers Johnson and Texan tycoons in JFK assassination, the legendary historian Arthur Schlesinger interviewed her uh, shortly after she, Kennedy was killed right in front of her uh, in the car. And it turns out that her statements on tapes now released dovetails uh, with E. Howard Hunt, the former top CIA assassin who gave the deathbed confession to his son that we premiered on my syndicated uh, radio broadcast, and with Madeline Duncan Brown, the admitted mistress of LBJ, who also said that he bragged to her that he had had Kennedy killed. So we now have it from E. Howard Hunt, the mistress of uh, LBJ. Uh, we also have it uh, from Mr. McClellan, uh, who was admittedly LBJ's lawyer for many years here in Austin, who wrote a best-selling uh, book on the subject. So um, it wouldn't be the first time that uh, a prince uh, kills the king so he can become the king, or a vice president is involved with the military-industrial complex and the banking cartel. And the same banking cartel that was involved uh, killing JFK because he signed an executive order to issue U.S. government greenbacks and to begin abolishing the Federal Reserve are the people that are in control of our country and is an outside foreign power. The Daily Mail also reported on the story. Explosive Jackie O tapes reveal how she believed Lyndon Baines Johnson killed JFK. Uh, continuing with other important news here that we'll cover more tomorrow on the syndicated radio show. Uh, the mayor of Philadelphia is issuing a nine o'clock curfew because roving mobs and gangs robbing and stealing and attacking crowds. We're seeing this frightening development popping up all over the United States. And England is now in day three of riots with dozens of cars and large buildings being completely torched. More of the flash mobs and societal disintegration that was predicted by the Pentagon and others many years ago. This is all part of social engineering. Uh, and continuing, Irish social minister uh, has announced that if you want your child benefits that you get in tax incentives when you have children, uh, that you will have to get vaccinations. So the beginning of forced vaccinations uh, with the social uh, protection minister, Joan Burton. Very, very scary move there because everything you see in Europe is later exported here. We have some good news I'd like to close out with tonight. Al Gore, according to press that was there at the Globalist Aspen Institute uh, meeting, uh, threw a fit and used expletives repeatedly, according to Climate Depot and Mark Moreno, a top reporter covering the climate tax fraud. And Al Gore basically conceded defeat and said that they are completely losing and don't have any way of getting their, their global taxation system through. Again, this is only an InfoWars breaking news uh, report. We're going to uh, have these on a routine but random basis. Uh, here at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. But starting September 1st, that's a Thursday, we are going to have nightly 30-minute uh, condensed, focused, hardcore news transmission. And if you're watching this out in cyberspace and you'd like to have access to it first and in higher quality, and if you'd like to help support and be part of the front line in exposing the uh, New World Order crime cartel, please consider subscribing for 15 cents a day at prisonplanet.tv. It helps us with our research, our production, and the work we're doing here. We couldn't have done any of this without you. We'd also like uh, viewers and supporters and people who believe in liberating the First Amendment to also visit the Secure Online Video Bookstore and to also check out the pro-liberty apparel we've developed to also help spread the word at infowars.com. I'm Alex Jones signing off from the front lines of the Infowar. You have been warned. Now please warn others. The global government that we have warned about for so long is now upon us. InfoWars.
InfoWars.com for 16 years has led the charge against the technocrats. We have had unrivaled success in unlocking minds, expanding paradigms, and rallying the people to face the new world order. No one can deny that our media operation is the tip of the spear, and it's because of our success that we have a responsibility to intensify our operations against the globalist 110%. We're only a month away from launching a weeknight news broadcast. The social network is nearing completion as well. The free newsletter is reaching hundreds of thousands. Please spread the word about InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Sign up at the top of InfoWars.com for the free InfoWars Insider email with exclusive video and text reports as well as breaking news. Look in the mirror. You are the resistance. It is up to us, the InfoWarriors, to take the initiative and to defeat the globalist.